Hi, Dan Hedges here, and I'm pleased to welcome to the couch today. We have Kevin Clifton and Tommy Frazen with us today. Uh, welcome, both of you. Hi, thank you. Thanks Great for having to us. see you. Great to see you. Um, people watching will probably recognise you, so if you quickly go over who you are and what you do one at a time, Kevin first, if you don't mind. Um, yes, so I'm a professional dancer. Uh, so I'm a dancer on the TV show Strictly Come Dancing on BBC One, where we uh, teach celebrities how to dance, basically, in a competition. Excellent. And Tommy? Um, I'm a dancer as well, so it's a similar background. Uh, I did a TV show so, uh, called So You Think You Can Dance. Mm -hmm. It was a while ago, so I'm probably forgotten about compared to Kevin, who's uh, very known at the moment. So, yeah. Yeah, had a bit of success last year. Second, I believe. I've yeah. come second on Strictly Come Dancing <laughs> for the last four years. Yeah. Which is kind of re really good in a way, <laughs> of making the final, but also slightly annoying, the fact that I haven't managed to win yet. Well, right, and, and in competition with your wife and sister. Yes, so my, sister's, <laughs> my sister's won the, la the last series. Oh dear. Yeah, so. Oh well. Uh, uh, well, <laughs> these yeah. things happen. Which is yeah. great for her. Got to try. Yeah, <laughs> got to try. Anyway, going on to property side, obviously you're both here now because you want to push your, your property business forward. Mm. Um, did you get into property thinking about sort of like what you're going to do after dancing or is, is that what it's all about? That was exactly it for me. Um, like I, I'm sort of in a situation where as rather than trying to, you know, be, being in a situation where I want to quit my job, um, you know, sack the boss, so to speak, mm. um, I love what I do and I, I sort of, I'm doing everything I want to do at, at the moment and I could quite happily do it for the rest of my life. But the nature of what we do means that I won't be able to. Yeah. Um, the, I'll reach a certain age when my body won't let me do what I'm doing now. Um, and at that point I decided I'm going to have to create something to um, continue earning money. Um, I don't see myself getting any kind of decent pension. Mm. Um, so, well it, it happened that I'd read Rich Dad Poor Dad at, at one point and thought, oh, you know, it seems like a good idea to buy property. Um, but never really knew what anything about it. It was just one of those things that I was like, I don't know, I don't know anything about that. And actually, me and Tommy were on the same dance tour a few years ago. Um, we were in a dance company together, and uh, on the tour bus, Tommy was working on his. Uh, he was making some phone calls and had some properties <laughs> out in front of him. Yeah, he was working on his property <laughs> portfolio, and I thought, oh, that's really interesting. And uh, so I decided to ask him about it. Um, so yeah, yeah, I've got you know four properties on the go, and I'm just renting them out. And I was going, "How are you doing that?" Like, um, and he told me that he'd done some uh, a bit of training. And um, yeah, I, I, it was actually a few years later d down the road. I um, was saw something that Tommy had posted on his properties on social media, and said, "Oh, can I meet you for a coffee?" And he recommended that I go along to uh, that Msopi event. To um, yeah, to the pro progressive property, <laughs> mm. and you already were listening to Rob's um, podcast at that point as well. Yeah, so you knew of him, so I was like, well, why don't you go to M. Soppy then? Yeah, purely by coincidence, I was listening to Rob Moore on um, the Disruptive Entrepreneur podcast yeah. um, and getting a lot out of that. And so it was yeah, kind mm. of two things met. Tommy went well, mm. uh, you know, I, I get a lot out of progressive, um, and it, you know, it's this guy Rob Moore that he's sort of his thing, Rob, Rob and Mark. And I was like, oh, I know he is. Yeah. Which sort of led mm. me to. So Tommy here. brought you along to the multiple streams, and that was yeah. your first light bulb mo moment. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. So uh, mm. you you were obviously with Progressive before that. How long yeah. have you been with Progressive? Um, I've been probably about four years. Yeah. I think, something like three or four oh. years, I think. Uh, did my first VIP then, and Excellent. done quite a few courses as well. So uh, yeah. Been here for a while and uh, quite funny actually. I didn't realise that um, jumping back to dancing that well both of us has been runner ups second. I don't know if it's <laughs> anything to do. <laughs> Interesting. You know? Yeah, Interesting. We, we know how it is. It comes <laughs> second basically. Yeah. yeah. So uh, and I came into this for the same reason. The property exactly what you explained. Rich that poor dad was the book, and uh, just to have a pension or something after dancing, or something to make you can actually slow down the dancing yeah. and not having to work absolutely full time. Uh, to make money, you know, be able to kind of get it to a level where the body can catch up, basically. Mm. Brilliant. And yeah. um, out of the, the companies out there, there's a lot of property training companies out there. What actually brought you to Progressive? What was it about Progressive that made you think, yeah, this is where I, I want to do my training? Um, hard to remember, actually, back now, how I actually come in, came in contact with Robin Mark. But I mm. think I might have found them just on Google initially. Then I started re reading their books and 
I got on the email list and they, so yeah, I saw the emails and that kind of thing, went to an event and then I kind of progressed from that really. And um, yeah, I just really liked them. Really liked what I had to say and the energy and yeah. wanted to get to know them better. And once you get on the emails, you know what that's like. I know. You <laughs> get the old email now. <laughs> you can't avoid them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No one escaping that. Excellent. And you're still on the VIP program to this day? I'm back on it. Excellent. Yeah. Back on it with Kevin. So. Brilliant. Yeah. So I think, Kevin, it's your second VIP this time. Yeah, that's month. right. Yeah. How are you finding it? Loving it. Yeah, yeah. It, it's really good. Um, I, th I think just having someone there that's like having a mentor there that, that's always going um, kind of just catching up with you all the time and setting you got helping you to set your goals and then holding you accountable to it, it is a really good thing it seems like such a simple thing hmm. um, but I definitely wouldn't do things without that kind of um, without that kind of attention um, or, or someone to help me um, Rob's Rob's brilliant and like uh, like Tommy was saying, just the energy of it all. I like, I like Rob's energy a lot. Um, I haven't met Mark yet, mm. um, but I like Rob's energy a lot and it, it's quite motivating. And uh, yeah, I've, I've got, got a lot done in that in the first month, yeah. uh, which I probably otherwise wouldn't have done. Mm. So yeah, so you're moving forward and uh, yeah. heading in the right direction. Yeah, definitely. And, uh, and uh, the couple of things that I haven't done yet, I already feel a bit bad about. <laughs> like, I felt a bit scared <laughs> coming in. Bob. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, oh no, I didn't get that done, I didn't manage to get it done. And uh, it was probably making excuses for it, and then you come and, as, as soon as you're here, you realise I definitely shouldn't have been making excuses about it. Mm. Could have just done it, <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah. Excellent, yeah. excellent. And yeah. obviously yourself, how has your property journey um, gone on since joining VIP? Really good, actually. Yeah, it was. Uh, I. I was struggling with some things be beginning of my first VAP and then I was kind of getting the, all the hurdles out of the way and uh, since then it started flowing really well. Yeah, it was definitely like in the beginning of your property journey a little bit more, you know, hurdles and yeah. uh, problems or fear, all those things chucked in. And, uh, but yeah, but now it's, it's really flowing so it's nice. Yeah. Excellent, excellent. And uh, are you working on anything uh, you know, particular at the moment? Is there something you've got your eyes set on that you're working on, to, working towards? Well, we are working on one property together now. Yeah. yeah. Um, so it be the first one we do together. Excellent. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's exci exciting. Brilliant. Yeah, because what, what happened was, um, for me personally, just from reading Rich Dad Poor Dad and, and you know, reading other things and um, listening to podcasts, you know, trying to educate myself a little bit, um, I sort of got used to the idea that I wanted to invest in property but didn't really know what I was doing. It was just that I wanted to do it. So I kind of jumped in a, a little bit mm. and um, the first two properties that I in invested in, I, I probably got a little bit wrong. <laughs> and I came along to um, the masterclass at, at Progressive and day one it, it was sort of right, first of all, don't do this, yeah. don't do this and don't do this. And I went. Right, that's everything I just did. Okay, <laughs> okay perfect. Um, right, what do I do now? Um, learned an awful lot on the, on the masterclass, yeah. actually. Um, and then decided to do it properly. Um, and Tommy actually sourced one property to me that, that I did myself. And yeah, now we're, we're working on another one um, together. And now, yeah, we're, we're sort of in the, in the beginnings of forming a bit of a, a working relationship yeah. now, but a bit, a bit of a partnership. Um, because I think one of the good things about it, w w what we're learning is um, not just standard information on property itself, but also the mindset of of how partnerships work yeah. and, mm. and, you know, sharing different skills. Uh, and I think um, Tommy definitely has some skills that I don't have. So I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm hoping to lean on him a little bit. And um, we're, Vice just, versa. You we're just working out, um, you know, what my roles will be and what Tommy's roles will be, uh, yeah. you know, mm. going forward, working together. Yeah. And um, obviously your mentor helps you. Yeah, I was just going to yeah. say that uh, Rob has been really helpful yeah. so far. We haven't had uh, a, a session with Mark just yet, but uh, mm. that's next for us to do because they've got different s skill sets themselves and different advice they can give us. So, yeah, really Excellent. good. And how are you finding the VIP community itself? I mean, it's rather a, a large community and rather full of very motivated and really great people. How are you finding those? Yeah. Great. Great. Yeah, I, th I, th I think motivation is the key. Yeah. Every, every time I come here, I get like a, an extra spike of energy um, and, and feel like I want to refocus and, and, and 
go hard, you know. Um, mm. and, and everybody's really helpful. Like, I think ev everyone here is, you sort of become mates with, you know, the people that, you, that you're here with and, and uh, everyone's got something to share about their own story and everyone, everyone's got something that they can help you with and, mm. and everyone kind of wants to help each other yeah. as well. So it's, it's really cool to, to be part of this um, community because, you know, before you sort of feel like you've got to do everything and, and you don't know enough about it and you can feel a little bit bogged down in things mm. and wondering whether you're going in the right direction. And it, it seems quite a small thing, it seems quite simple, but actually there's, there's just a load of people there that you can just go, what about this situation or what should I do here? And, and, and someone in the room knows the answer. So yeah, it's, mm. it's really helpful. And also it's quite, uh, the property business it can be quite lonely and you cannot get bogged down by, by your own challenges in property. And just by being around other people, it's, it just helps of getting uh, socialized basically with yeah. people do the same thing and sharing the same problems. Uh, and then it's just rising above it in a way um, with the help of others, yeah. Excellent. So you're enjoying your VIP time, which is really, really good. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, just out of curiosity, what would you say to someone if they were looking at the VIP themselves? Um, you know, having a little bit of experience, you're having a four years and you're having two months. So yeah. What would you say yeah. to someone who, who was sort of on the fence having a look? Well, I, th I think the, the only reason that, p that people wouldn't was that they're sort of sceptical about mm. spending the money and that sort of thing. And, and I have to say I was at, at first as well. Um, you know, and, and, I, and I wasn't sure whether I was going to get everything I wanted out of it. Um, and and I, was, I was hoping when I just made the decision to do it, because I just decided I needed help, that I didn't really know everything myself and I needed a, a lot of help. Um, I decided to go for it and, and um, I have to say I'm, I'm kind of getting more out of it than I expected. <coughs> um, and, and definitely it's, it's really not just about, as I was saying before, it's not just about the information. Because I know you can find information on how to invest in property in, in, in lots of places, um, but it's kind of this constant stream of information, mm. but also the mindset and the motivation yeah. that you get with, with, with the VIP experience. Brilliant. Well, I'd like to thank you both for coming today. Hopefully we'll see you as the winner. Uh, <laughs> next year. No <laughs> right, well, it's going to be a property no pressure, millionaire no before pressure, that happens. Yeah. No pressure at all. You've got to beat the missus. Yeah. So, uh, thank you both very much for thank coming. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah, thanks very much, uh, Dennis, with uh, Tommy and Kevin, and I'll speak to you all soon. Thank you.